Have you been wanting to sell digital products online but just don't know where to start? Well, I wanna help you solve that in this new video series and it's gonna be all about digital product ideas and how to create them. And the best part is each of these ideas have six figure or more potential. So every Monday, the way that this is gonna work is I'm gonna share a new idea with you and then I'm gonna share how to create that product idea for yourself using simple or free tools or low cost tools. So let's jump into the first one right now. All right, so digital product idea number one is an ebook. And you know what an ebook is, an electronic book, but I, I love books in general. And books are proven products. They've been around for pretty much the beginning of time, right? We've had the Bible been around for, I don't know how long that's been around, but they've been around forever. They're proven to sell. People love reading and buying books in digital and physical format, and they're gonna be around forever. I don't see books ever going away. So uh, I've created three different books in the last uh, less than 12 months now. And this is the most recent one here, Info Product Empire. And this is around creating and selling info products. This is the second one I created. This is 57 pages around how to make more money from your email list and from email marketing in general. And this is the book that started it all. February, 2020, I launched this book around six figure drop servicing. And this is around starting and scaling an online service business. And this is a hundred pages long. And I love books. Books have changed my, my life and my business. It helps me to, it helped me to build my audience of customers and get people to come to me and build up that relationship with people before I even talk to them, right? So before creating books, I was just selling high ticket services and I didn't have anything in between. And books were a great way to bridge the gap between uh, my high ticket stuff and giving them a low ticket entry level product to come in and kind of feel around and see what I'm about and see if, I, if they wanna work with me on any of my other offers. So books are a great way to build a relationship and build trust and when someone reads your entire book, they look at you on a different, at a different level, right? As the authority in a certain area. So of course, if your book is good. So books are a great way to build authority, trust, build a relationship with your customers and to send people to your higher level stuff uh, without friction, right? With coaching programs, courses, or services. So who should create a book? Cause I don't think everyone should create a book. Now, if you have specialized expertise or knowledge or skill sets to share that can help people improve their life or their business in a meaningful way, then I think you should, you're ready to create a book. You're ready to write your own book. If you don't have that expertise and the knowledge and the skill set built up yet, watch my Truth About Digital Products video. That will explain what to do to build that up, to get started and start getting experience and start getting that expertise, that knowledge, that skill set so that you can write and launch your own book. Once you have that, let's talk about the tactical stuff, the steps. How do you actually go and create a book? So number one is to outline the content of your book. And this is the title, the hook, the chapters and table of contents. So what I do is I usually start with the hook and this is basically what the book is going to be about. So my hook for this book is the blueprint for turning your specialized knowledge and expertise into a profitable six to seven figure online business. Now, if you want ideas on titles and hooks that are doing well, go over to Amazon and type in your, your chosen topic or your niche and you can see here all these books with thousands of reviews and this book right here is at the top of the, the search ranking. So obviously this is getting bought a lot right now. This is probably a newer book here. And right here, this is the hook. The Simplified Beginner's Guide to Eliminating Financial Stress, Building Wealth and Achieving Financial Freedom. And this is at the top, this is number one. If we go down a little more, you can see other books that have thousands of reviews and we wanna read these. So. I like this book. This is a book that I own. No guilt, no excuses, no BS, just a six week program that works. I will teach you to be rich is the title. And the hook is right here, the six week program that works. So if you need ideas for hooks and titles, obviously don't copy these, but if you need ideas of what's working, go to Amazon, type in your niche, and you can see examples of the hook, which is that sub headline and the title that's working, okay? So what I like to do, is I will start with the hook and the title will usually come to me later after just playing around with what is this book gonna be about after creating the table of contents here. Uh, and this is all around info products. So I was like, okay, info product empire, that's, that's a fitting name for this book. And it's actually appealing because it, it talks about the result that people want. So start with the hook. And from there, what I recommend doing step two is to jump into the table of contents, right? Map out your different chapters of what it's gonna be about 
And then from there, you can look at the table of cont contents, look at the hook and say, okay, this is gonna be a good title that is tied to the result of this book. So Info Products Empire, this, someone can read that and know exactly what this book's gonna be about. So that's step number one. So step number two is to set a daily goal for writing or recording your book based on how fast you wanna finish it. So I recommend shooting for 20 to 25,000 words. I know that sounds overwhelming right now, but if you break it down day by day, you can get this done in a couple weeks, even if it's your first book. So let's just say that you want to get it done and let's just say 25,000 words. You wanna get it done in 14 days. That means you'd have to type out 1,786 words per day. So let's just type that in here, right? If we want to do 25,000 words in 14 days, that'd be 1,786 per day. Okay. So what you could do from there is every day, put like a two hour block on your calendar and just spend that two hour block typing up your chapters or your content for your book. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. There's nothing sexy about it. It's just you putting in the work and typing out your book every day if you want to get it finished. Now, if you want to record it, if you want to record it and like and transcribe it instead of typing out your book, you can go to a site called rev.com and they allow you to record your book or you record your voice and then they'll transcribe the words for you. And there is a cost involved with that. I don't think it's that expensive, but if you don't want to type it out and you want, you'd rather speak into your uh, into this app here, rev.com, and get it recorded and transcribed, you can do that as well. That's another option for you. Um, but this is the option that I did. I got my book finished in 15 or 16 days, and this is how I did it. I just broke down the word count, and I set a two-hour block on my calendar every day and just spent that block typing it out, typing out my book and the content every day for 14, 15 days in a row. And that's, that's how fast I got my book done. So this is... Step number two, set a daily goal. However fast you wanna finish your book, divide that by 20, 25,000 words, and that is your daily word count. That is your goal to hit for every day of typing your book or recording your book. Step number three, self-explanatory. Write or record your book until that first draft is done. So if you're writing, just go into Google Docs. You can see this is in a Google Doc right here. Type it, type it out, spend time putting in the work and creating the content for however long that you set this, this timeline for, right? So if it's 14 days, make sure every day for 14 days you're going in and you're putting in the work to hit this word count here, okay? If you're recording, it's gonna be a lot faster, but you're probably gonna have to do a lot more editing because when you're talking into something, there's a lot of ums and ahs and a lot of places where you get hung up. So that's step number three, write or record until your first draft is done. From there, step four is to spice up your draft by adding chapter summaries, checklists, quotes, stories, and images. So let me show you an example. You can see here, if I scroll down, I have quotes here at the beginning of some of the chapters, right? And make, makes it a little more interesting, makes it pop a little more. I added some screenshots of some examples, right? From whatever I'm explaining in here in this chapter. I've added chapter summaries, right? So chapter takeaways, whatever we're covering in the chapter, I like to recap it here. And I'm basically just copying and pasting the most important concepts from the chapter. And also at the end of every main part or main section, I have a checklist. And you don't have to do all this in the beginning. At the very least, I recommend you add some photos or images and a chapter summary. You don't have to do the quotes and the, the uh, end of chapter checklist like this, but over time when you get better at creating books, I didn't have this in my first one, but this really does help with getting people to uh, understand your concepts and understand the content in your book. Okay, so that is spicing up your draft, adding chapter summaries, checklists, quotes, stories, and images. Step five is to get your cover design. So you can hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork for pretty inexpensively, $100 or less to de design your book cover. What I've done is I designed all my covers in Canva myself, and I don't put too much time or effort into it. If you look here, this is Info Product Empire. This is my most recent book. All I did was pull a royalty-free image off the web. I put the title here of the book. I put the, the hook or the subheadline and my name. That's it right there. This is our book cover right here. This is exactly what I did for my other two books as well. This took me about 20 minutes to create, so not long at all. I just wanted to get version 1.0 out the door and it ended up selling well, so I didn't change anything. So that is step number five. If you want to go to Fiverr, you can just go here. 
And all you gotta do is type in ebook cover, sort by best selling, and you can do some research on what, whoever style fits you most. You just look for people who have good reviews, right? You can see all of these have a thousand plus reviews. You can see the prices here. You can click into them, look at examples and pick someone that fits with your style. Okay. It's really as simple as that. Don't overcomplicate this part because the most important part is that you get your book written and launched so that you can start getting customers and start getting readers. And from there you can, you can optimize based on feedback. So that's step number five, getting your cover design. Step six is to proofread and edit your book. So what you wanna do is just, it's as simple as going through and reading your book and taking out any pieces that don't make sense or that are confusing and making your book easier to read. So a lot of people, when they edit, what they do is they go and they try to add more stuff. They try to add more content. What I try to do is cut it down by 10 to 15% and only add in the pieces that the reader most needs to know and wants to know. So I go through here, I, I remove a lot of stuff. I probably removed, this is 166 pages. I think I removed about 40 pages of content on this that just didn't need to be in here. And that's what you wanna do is take out any piece that is confusing or doesn't need to be, that, that, as, that causes bloat to the book. So just take out whatever doesn't need to be in here, any fluff and only include the important pieces. And then step seven is to get your book formatted. And formatted meaning that it can be read on Kindle, it can be read on an iPad or an iPhone. So usually what I like to do is hire someone on Fiverr or Upwork to give me PDF, Mobi, and EPUB formats, right? So I'll put it here. PDF, Mobi, and EPUB. And this will allow me to sell this book and get it read on every different platform and device. It doesn't matter what people are using. So that's what it means by getting my book formatted. And that is a seven, seven step process for creating and writing your book. Outline the content of your book, title, hook, chapters, table of contents, set a daily writing goal for writing or recording your book. If you want to record, use rev.com. Write and record until that first draft is done. Spice it up by adding chapter summaries, checklists, quotes, stories, and images. Get your cover designed or do it yourself in Canva. Proofread and edit your book and remove out take out any fluff or things that don't need to be there and then get it formatted so that someone on any device that they're using can read your book and consume your book. Um, so that is it for this first digital product idea. Number one, all about an ebook. Uh, as you can see the steps, there's nothing, there's no secret formula here. It really is just coming up with an idea for your book, going out, writing it, spending the time to get it done. And once you have a book, you have this product that can be sold automatically generate you passive income. I hate saying that, but it can help you generate automatic sales while you sleep when you have this book ready for, uh, ready for you to sell. So I think books are an amazing tool to grow your business and get customers and to build up that relationship with your customers and get them to check out your premium offers. So go out, if you have that expertise, that knowledge, that skill set, I recommend you go and, and create a book, write a book so that you can have that as your, as your storefront, that first product that people see. But that is it for that first digital product idea. I uh, hope you guys like this. Let me know, give me your feedback below. Let me know what you thought. Give me a thumbs up if you did and comment below with what you wanna see next in next week's digital product idea series video. I'll see you in the next one.